happening. So this is a new technology that they've come out with, and I'll show you guys how it works. Your total will pop up, and then you'll wave your hand over this, and it'll process your payment, and that's it. Off I go with my food, lunch, and things. Shalom. Kahuayla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, the revelation of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. <coughs> so, those that can receive Yahweh Shai have the understanding of these scriptures, the remnant of the hopeful elect that can understand these prophecies because the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of Bible prophecy. See, let's read this first. <coughs> revelation 1, verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. See, so the elect have the testimony, understanding what's going to be transpiring in the latter days. Verse 2. <clears throat> Revelation 1, verse 2, who bear record of the word of the Most High and of the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and of all things that he saw. So Revelation to reveal to peel back. We're going to go from there. Let's go to Revelations chapter 19. Revelation 19, verse 10. Quarter 9. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, these are the true Revelations 19. Let's go back to verse 9. And he saith unto me, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, these are the true sayings of the Most High. See, these prophecies are faithful and true. Let's jump down to verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. <coughs> so that's who can understand these prophecies in these last days. The saints, which are the elect that believe on the Messiah, that he walked in the flesh, have the testimony or the spirit of our Lord, the spirit of prophecy. Let's keep going. Let's go 
to Revelation 19. Go to verse 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Fire power. Naval and air fire power. Go to verse 14. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. <clears throat> so we're living in a model after the ancient Roman Empire. That's why in order to get a doctor's license, you got to be able to write and read in Latin. The, med the medical prescriptions are in Latin. So we're under the revived Roman Empire. Look at the money. There's Latin written on the money. A new a noet coeptus and novus ordem seclorum, new world order, and a newet coeptus. This enterprise is crowned a success. So the Bible is talking about the revised Roman Empire, America, the European Union, and NATO. Try to get a law degree. you got to be able to write and read in Latin. So this is a military, economic, political, and religious system that pushes a scientific doctrine. Go here to verse 14. <clears throat> and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beasts, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beasts which had the wound by a sword and did live. Model after ancient Rome. Revelations 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So those that don't comply with this new agenda, with this global reset, with these medical provisions that are being promulgated, are going to be put to death. That's the way ahead. So these are technologically driven provisions that are being pushed. So the system speaks through its government policies, its laws. Revelations 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads. Look up Elon Musk. So this is me in push right now as we speak. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man, 
and his number is 603 score and 6. So this is a barcode scanning system based on 6. Algorithm of 6. <coughs> and the inventor of this device. The first middle and last name has six letters. The man that invented this device made to go in the hand or forehead. And you can look this up on your own. He's an Edomite. Numbers. Let's go to Sirach 27, verse 1. Many have sinned for a small matter, and he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away as a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones. So doth sin stick close between buying and selling. So does sin. <coughs> Let's read that again. As a nail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones. So doth sin stick close between buying and selling. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord. His house shall soon be overthrown. And that's what's being set up right now. Lying signs and wonders through technology. <clears throat> Let's go to Sirach. 21, verse 1. My son, hast thou sinned? Do so, my son, hast thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. So this thing penetrates you, breaks the skin. All iniquity is as a two-edged sword. The wounds thereof cannot be healed. So... The, that man of sin is pushing a device of sin. The Bible is against us breaking our skin or penetrating our skin. Let's read it again. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. All iniquity is as a two-edged sword. The wounds thereof cannot be healed. Where the wounds whereof cannot be healed. So there is no repentance from this decision. We can't repent from this. Let me say that again. We cannot repent from this. Let's go to Luke 2. Luke 2. So the word made flesh warned us about the events that would transpire in the latter days. <clears throat> but he's being mocked. Scoffed at. Luke 2 and 34. And Simeon 
blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. So the word made flesh is giving us a sign of what's to come in these last days. The same man that walked the earth in the flesh warned about these events in Revelations, which means to reveal, uncover the spirit of prophecy. See, let's read that again. Luke 2 and 34. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. So people are mocking and speaking out against what was revealed unto us in Revelations chapter 13, chapter 14, chapter 15, chapter 20, chapter, chapter 16. See, let's go back to this. <coughs> Revelations 1, verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto, unto him. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. See, these are signs, things which must shortly come to pass. So we're living in these latter days where the signs are speaking. Hence the video. So this is a new technology that they've come out with, and I'll show you guys how it works. See that? So let's read this and close out. <clears throat> Luke 2 and 34. And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy soul also. Luke 2 and 35. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. So this word is a discerner of the heart and mind of every soul on earth, starting with the Israelites. <coughs> Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kwakadash, Barakatham, Shalom.